Hi guys, it's Mr. Mark here. Um, so our activity that we're going to be doing today is pearly beads. Um, I know a lot of the kids at our club here in Inverness um, are very used to doing pearly beads. So what you need is a template. Um, there are other templates that you can buy at the stores. There's one that you can kind of free freehand it and kind of make your own. Or there's actually um, shape templates like this one, like a dog. Um, this is one um, that you need. You also need obviously pearly beads. Um, also, you can use wax paper or parchment paper, any type of baking paper works. Um, but here we're going to use wax paper. So the first thing we're going to do is actually um, start creating it. I'm going to do the dog, so um, I'm going to go on ahead and get started. And also, oh, I'm so sorry. Also, um, you will need an iron at the end. Um, you do need parent supervision or any type of adult that is with you. Make sure you do have someone to help you at the end with ironing your pearly beads, okay? Um, very, very important. Um, we have the uh, iron to about like three, so three is okay, probably even four if you want it, kind of heat it up just a little bit faster, but just make sure you do have an adult supervisor with you. All right, I'm gonna get started. Let's see, Let's start with the eyes here. Now it's very tricky because you have to kind of make sure they are in line and they're in there. You're not kind of losing anything in the beads. A lot of colors here, a lot of colors. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to do my dog like a blue color. Might be like a blue or probably a mixture color for my dog. Just doing the eyes here first. I'll probably give this side brown. Let's see. Very tricky to put them in there. Let's see, we'll try a different one. Kind of give it a nice color on this eye right here. I'm gonna start working probably about this way for the color of the coat. Probably a couple mixtures of blue here. I think it'll look cool either way. Got that there. I think I'm gonna make my dog look really cool. I'm gonna put red eye, red uh, ears on my dog. <laughs> Now this is a really cool activity though to do with um, even your sibling at home or if you are with mom or dad and you know you just want to kind of kill some time. This is a really cool activity to do um, and it does take up a good amount of time. <laughs> 
but it's fun at the end. The end result is really cool. Now what you can use as well too if you have like tweezers at home. You can use something like a tweezer to kind of get, get it in there just a little bit easier so you're not moving any other type of perler beads that you have on here. And you're not kind of restarting from the beginning. has a bunch of different colored ears so um, I think that's okay though like I said this is gonna be my cool dog so that one dog has a color like this it's a multicolored dog that I have here Good. Hopefully I can still see its eyes when, uh, when we finish uh, putting it all together. And the good thing about the pearly beads too, you don't even know how much time you actually use. And you know, you still have fun with it too. Because you know, you want to, you're expecting to, you're waiting for, for what it looks like. And you know, it, it just takes up a lot of time and you don't even know that it really does because you're having so much fun with it. Now we're going to put in the nose. It's going to have a purple nose. Some more blue here. What you want to do too when you do pearly beads is kind of work your way in and then out so then you're not kind of knocking over the other beads. Kind of do a couple of rows at a time 
and you don't have to do like how I'm doing it too. You don't have to mix it up with many different colors. If you do have a lot of colors, um, black, white, any type of color, definitely could use anything, kind of make it look more like a dog instead of me, kind of being more creative and making it colorful. <laughs> What I like about pearly beads too is it is a lot of a lot of colors you can use, and the good thing is it's not much of a mess. Um, you don't have to paint anything, you don't have to color anything. You just have all your colors here, all your varieties here, and you literally can make what you want to make. So we're almost on the halfway mark. I think, I don't know, I wonder what color I should put the tail. I don't know what color I should put it. Like I said, they're definitely a little tricky to pick up. So like if you do have um, tweezers, they definitely will help you more. <laughs> Good too because now I have colors that I want to get to right here. There we go. Got all my green here. We're almost done. I just need a little bit more blue. Definitely takes a lot of patience for all of this, right? <laughs> one by one.
gonna get a little creative here and I'm gonna make I'm gonna give my dog like orange paws. So we'll have like orange paws for my dog right here. to the last step. Just got two more to put in here. Very multicolored dog I have here, I'll tell you that. I don't think I should be allowed to color any type of dog. <laughs> Alright, so um, this is our end result right here, what we have. Um, now the next step, so you can actually you can um, so you can actually pull it out of the template. Um, we're gonna get this wax paper, and you can fold it up if you want, or you can actually just have it kind of like a sheet like this, not too big. But what I'll do, I'll, I'll fold mine up just a little bit, so I'm not heating up the plastic too much. And make sure you do have a trusted adult with the iron. Let me actually pull this more to the side. And then we're just going to place the iron right on top. And we're just going to hold it, I want to say for, give it about 10 to 15 seconds or so. So kind of make sure it is kind of combining together, all the perler beads are together. It's always good to kind of double check to make sure that if it is combining, if it is melting together or molding together, you pull it out a little bit and then double check to see if you need to add more heat to it. Let's see, we're going to check. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more heat, so what we'll do is we'll kind of go off to the side. Let's see, I'll go more in here. There we go. Alright, well, we'll take some time to kind of cool down a little bit. Um, Make sure, you, like I said, make sure you do use a trusted adult, whatever adult is at home with you, to kind of do the heating of the iron. We're going to let it cool down just a little bit, make sure it is together. Usually you'll see too, because there'll be spots right there that are kind of not melting together, so we'll kind of push them in together. There we go. Kind of piece by piece now. But um, that's okay, so this first time, first time is especially too, but um, let it warm up a little bit and you will definitely have whatever creation, whatever, anything you made, kind of like a multicolored dog that I did, but um, it can be anything else, that, any ideas that you guys have too, that you can do at home is very easy. Like I said, just make sure you take, it is very time consuming, make sure you do it the right way and make sure you do have an adult with you. So um, this is Mr. Mark signing out, so I'll see you guys.